Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So today we're going to be taking a look at transmitting with the Hack RF1. So the piece of software that I'm going to be using for transmitting is going to be called SDR Angel. Now I'll leave a link down in the description if you need to go ahead and download this for yourself. So the first thing we need to do is make sure your Hack RF1 is already plugged in. Mine's already plugged into the USB connection. So let's go ahead and start. So we need to go to device sets, click add sync device. And then we come down here to where it says T1. Click this little finger, change it to hack RF, click OK. We now need to select a modulator. We're going to go with NFM, which is narrow frequency modulation and click plus. I'm going to set a frequency up here on the top left. This is the input frequency for a local repeater, uh, GB3AL. Now over on the right hand side on the NFM modulator, we're gonna leave the deviation at five. We're gonna put this up to 12. The local repeater has a CTCSS of 77. So I'm gonna select 77 and make sure this is ticked. Turn up the volume on the microphone. Gonna to go to my preferences, go to audio, audio input, I'm going to select my Rode NT USB microphone, click OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn up the power here and also tick RF amp as well. Now, when I click the blue button, it's actually going to start transmitting. And over on the right hand side, we've got NFM modulator. There's this little icon here, which is pretty good because it will actually start and stop transmitting. Now SDR Ranger is actually quite flaky when it comes to stopping and starting between receive and transmit. So what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna load up SDR console, which is connected to another SDR receiver. And we're gonna use this for receiving. Okay, so the repeater output is 145737.5 and the input is 145.1375. So what should happen is now, if I just transmit slightly, we should see a carrier appear over here. And there we go, that has opened up Golf Bravo 3 Alpha Lima. So let's go ahead and put a call out, see if we can have a quick chat with one of my friends. M6KZT, M6KZT, this is M0DQW. M0DQW, this is M6KZT. Good afternoon, Matt. Oh, good afternoon, Chris. I, um, I'm transmitting with my Hack RF1. How does it sound? Over. M0DQW, M6KZT returning. It sounds, um... A little bit scratchy, as if your signal is uh, a little bit weak, but otherwise you are fully readable um, to me. I can uh, understand every word, but just a little bit weak into the repeater at this, uh, at this point, Pat. But uh, fully, fully readable. Oh, okay. Um, well, I've just, I've just put the power up a little bit. There is actually a... Um there's an option to uh, to put the power up, so uh, I've put it up. But yeah, so I'm I'm using SDR Angel to um, to transmit the audio, and I've got a Rode microphone plugged into my computer, and then I've got a um, just a normal RTL dongle which I'm using for receiving on SDR console. So, um, but yeah, I think it's it's pretty neat actually. Uh, I wonder if, if I'm uh, getting into the repeater a bit better now, I've put the power up. Uh, M6KZT, M0DQW. M0DQW, M6KZT. Yes, Matt, much, much better. Um, you've lost a lot of the scratchiness and now the, uh, the audio's picked up as well a bit. So um, I would give you a... Uh, I'd give you a, a, a tentative uh, R5 on the audio and um, signal not as strong as it could be but it's uh, it's definitely a vast improvement of what it was well congratulations for getting the uh, hack rf1 
working on on the on the repeater. It's uh, um, that's uh, that's impressive, and uh, I look forward to uh, <laughs> um, hearing what you do next with it. Back to you. M6KZ TM0 DQW. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty neat actually. It's pretty neat. I'm actually running all this on Windows as well. Um, originally, I'd installed SDR Angel onto um, onto Linux, um, but then I realised that I could do the same thing on Windows. So just to make things easier for for like uh, just testing wise. Um, I'm just testing on Windows at the moment, but uh, I will be doing a lot more investigation to what I can do with this thing uh, on Linux at, uh, at some stage. Anyway, thanks for the uh, quick QSO, Chris, and uh, we'll catch you again sometime. M6KZT, M0DQW. Okay, cheers, Matt. Thanks for thanks for the contact on your Hack RF1. You've got me interested now, and uh, I might have to get my own and start playing with it. Cheers. You have a great afternoon. M0 DQW from M6 KZT73. Yeah, seven threes, Chris. Take care, mate. Bye bye. Well, there we go. That's me using the Hack RF1 and SDR Angel to transmit into my local repeater. Granted, I was using a new ELEC SDR receiver connected to SDR console for receive, but in principle, the whole thing was great. It was like a transceiver using my computer. Anyhow, if you like the video, please don't forget subscribe, like, and watch out for more content coming up using the Hack RF1. And until the next video, guys, take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah.